Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my good friend Steven from the channel Red Lessons. Hey Chris, thanks guys. Hey, so I'm gonna leave his channel down below. Definitely go to his channel and hit the subscribe button. You don't have to worry about it because he has a lot of amazing content, new fragrances, old fragrances, and you'll learn so much more. So definitely click the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed to this guy's channel, so Thank definitely you. check I him out. That. No problem. I recently got it about two weeks ago at verbalfragrances.com. I'll leave a link down below. Um, I got it for about 160. It goes for about 185, and this is from the House of Creed, uh, Creed Himalaya. So um, this came out, we said it was 2009 or 2010? 2002, believe 2002? Yeah, wow. such an old fragrance. I didn't it's, think it came out that long ago. <laughs> wow, I was still in high school during that time. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's crazy. So, um, so this fragrance here, um, when I first tried it out, um, it was so many years ago when I went to Creed Boutique and it smelled nice. I wasn't really a fan of it. Then I got a sample, tried it out, and I like it now. It's kind of fresh kind of clean like um it does have notes of uh citrus like a bergamot with the freshness it does have lemon it does have um musk and amber grease in it so it kind of gives it a little bit of that kind of masculine vibe and it does have tonka but i don't pick up tonka being the fragrance when i wear it i'm definitely going to spray it on my on the paper and my skin too definitely i don't get anything sweet about this either I feel like it's more about the, those clean musks and the ambergris and there's something a little bit like soapy about it. A little soapy, I wouldn't say powdery, but it definitely gives off like a clean vibe. And I'm surprised too, because this is like one of the more underrated fragrances from the House of Creed. When you think of underrated Creed, you think of Varolfa, you think of this one, maybe Cidre Blanc, you think of some of these other like uh, more obscure fragrances. But I think this is actually a really good offering from the House of Creed. And this one was also inspired by um, a trip that Olivier Creed took to Tibet and he actually climbed the mountains there and he was inspired by, I guess, the freshness of the air. I don't know how it varies too much from Silver Mountain Water because it seems like a similar premise, but this one is great. I like this one. I'll spray a little bit on the paper here. Um, this one here, yeah, I do like the presentation because it kind of gives it that silver feel like they actually went there and stuff. It's not like the other typical Creed bottles. This is kind of hard to see the light. You got to put up to the light to see how much juice you have. So kind of like the other Creed, you kind of can see the juice level. Yeah. So some people might like that, some people not. I do like the presentation. It's very different than most Creeds. Yeah. You know, so, but. And I think also, you know, being as though this is one of the fragrances that came out such a long time ago, uh, now, like you said, it is available for a much more uh, discounted <laughs> price. Whereas a lot of the 3.4 ounce creeds are going for like 450 bucks or 425 in that vicinity. So if you're looking for something that is very casual, but something that also will give you a pretty decent performance, right? How, how long would you say so this performance? For me, I get about um, six to seven hours of longevity, which okay. isn't bad. I mean, you can always bring a decan and reapply it, but it's a fragrance that you can overapply. You're not going to choke yourself out or anybody else. So, yeah, because the truth is, I smelled this many years ago, maybe back in like 2013 or 2012 or something like that. But I fell in love with Millicent Imperial, so that was the first Creed that I ever purchased. Oh wow! And then, um, <laughs> but I always had this in the back of my mind, and I know people are comparing it to like Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne, if if I'm thinking of the right one. So because I had that one in my collection, that always kind of like deterred me from buying the niche version of it, if you will. But honestly, smelling it again, and I also smelled it a few months ago at my friend Gary's house. It's a it's a great fragrance, and I actually really enjoyed this one. So I might be purchasing this one. Uh, soon. I do like this because I feel like it's a safe fragrance to wear to work. So if you're looking for a work fragrance, you can wear it. I've worn it to work like two weeks in a row because I was trying to test it out and people like it. It's not a, I wouldn't say it's like a very heavy masculine fragrance, but right. people walk by you, oh, you smell nice today. It's not going to be like the fragrance people say, oh, it's a pain dropper. So no, I don't feel like it's that type of fragrance, but it's a nice talking to people fragrance. You can wear it to work day to day. You can wear it to the gym if you want. It's not gonna offend anybody. It's not a beast mode projector, so for projection for me, it's about a full arm length for like the first hour, maybe hour and a half, and then it comes closer to the skin, and yeah. you get about six or seven hours of longevity. So it's not the best, but it's one of those fragrances that you can reapply it and you'll be okay. Perfectly you know? said. I think if you're looking to make a statement, you're probably better off with like Aventis, Royal Oud, original Santal, even Viking. 
But I think if you're just looking for something very clean, fresh, soapy, understated, but also elegant at the same time, Himalaya is great for that. Definitely. So one thing I would say, ladies and gentlemen, is that definitely pick up samples because these are expensive. That's $185 to $200. Creeds aren't cheap even at this counter, and you don't wanna buy this and you don't like it, so please keep that in mind. I mean, if you like these type of notes, you might like this fragrance, but don't think going into it that, hey, if I, I'm blind buying, I'm gonna love it, because blind buying is very, very, not all that, you know, you gotta be very safe buying fragrances in general. Um, Season-wise, for me, I would say you can wear this all year round, but I would say specifically more in the spring and summer, because it's kind of like a freshness, and I feel like in the fall and winter, it might be too, not as heavy to compete with the weather outside, because I live in uh, Philadelphia, and he lives in New Jersey, so we get that colder weather. So okay. let's just keep that in mind if you live in a colder environment. But if you live in a hotter environment, like Florida, Texas, you can wear this all year round. That's what I mean. Like, even in the colder weather, you have so many other better options from the House of Creed. Not to suggest that this is a bad option, but as far as the notes are concerned, yeah, you have the woods like the sandalwood and the cedarwood, but you have the bergamot, you have the lemon, you have the grapefruit, you have the ambergris, you have the musk. So all of those ingredients kind of convey a hotter weather fragrance. So I would prefer to wear this one in the spring and summer and then maybe fall and winter I'll wear like Royal Oud or Original Santal or one of these fragrances for sure. Definitely. Rating for it from 1 to 10 like I usually do, I'm going to give it um, a 6.5. So it's not bad, it's not amazing, but it does smell good and people are going to like the way it smells. This isn't going to offend anybody. From the time I've worn it, nobody has said anything negative to me wearing it. Yeah, and I think that that's a very fair rating, especially when you have other like really successful fragrances from Creed, like Aventus, that really set a benchmark. I think 6.5, 7 is a really good place to locate it. Yeah. Thank you for being on the channel, Steven. I really do appreciate that. Chris. So ladies, I'm gonna leave Steven's channel down below. Definitely go click on his channel, hit that subscribe button. He has a lot of new fragrances coming out that I have yet to try, so I'm very excited. Um, thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, I hope you consider clicking that subscribe button, clicking the like button, leave a comment down below. You guys take care. Bye. Bye.